What's up, E? Okay, so today I am going to go through my TBR. Sorry if I look a little off. I've been crying. Uh, but I'm pulling it together for this video because I need to get this video up today. Um, so this is my November TBR. Merry Christmas, by the way. Excuse me. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen books. Ooh, that's a lot of books, but I can do it if I stay diligent. I have to read like, excuse me, half a book a day to get that done. So we'll see. Uh, but they're are plenty of books to read and I need to get to read them. So anyway, the first book I'm going to read is The Therapist by B.A. Paris. Uh, now this is uh, me, my mom, and my sister's book club pick for the month of November. Uh, my mom picked it out. We're starting to alternate turns picking out a book. Um, so this was her pick. Um, I don't know a lot about it, but I do know it's a psychological thriller and it's going to be the first book I read to just get it out of the way for book club. And then we'll discuss it. So I'm excited to read The Therapist. Then we have, finally, I refuse. Finally going to get to this. I have it checked out from the library. Um, so uh, I definitely want to get it done. It was a book that uh, on, okay, so on my library's website, you can... Um, see suggested books under the book you want and then they'll give you a bunch of books like it so this was under a little life my favorite book um so i hear it's good if it's anything like a little life i'm gonna love it but we'll see um it's set in another country which i don't really like sorry um but we'll see i'll give it a read still so i refuse by per Pedersen. Then we have the book of the most precious substance by Sarah Cr Sarah Gran. Um, this book was interesting to me. I wanted to read it during spooky season, so I checked it out and never got to it. Um, but it's a newer book, um, and I definitely still want to read it. So hopefully, I can get to it. Uh, it's the third book on my TBR, so I should be able to. Um, but I might have to return it before I film my uh november reading wrap up but that's okay but anyway um yeah definitely want to get to the book of the most precious substance then i have uh gideon's gift by karen kingsbury um this book was uh, a book that i'm filming a video for um of what's it called a uh, blind date with a book. I purchased three blind date with the books and unwrapped them. And this was one of the blind date with the book. I suggest I requested a Christmas book, and this is the one that came. So it's a Christmas book because November is Christmas. I don't care. And um, yeah, I'm super excited to read it. Uh, it's a short little book, like a hundred some pages, 148 pages. Um, so I'm excited to read Gideon's Gift. Then next is another book. This one might be better suited for spooky season, but I didn't get to it. This is my other blind date with the book. It's called The House of Brides by Jane Cochran. Um, I read the back. It doesn't sound that interesting, but I need to read it because it was a blind date with the book. So I'm going to read it. Um, so we'll see how I feel about it. But yeah, House of Brides. Then I have a book I checked out from the library, The Cajun Christmas Killing. Um, this one, actually, this was supposed to go after this. Oh, well. Um, this one we might read for December Book Club, but I'm going to read it in November just to get it out of the way. Um, but my sister still might choose a different... December is her month to choose the book club book. Um, but she said this one looked good, so she might choose this one. Uh, but she still might choose another one in between now and December. So we will have to see. But A Cajun, a Cajun Christmas Killing by Ellen Byron. Byron? Yeah, Byron. 
Then I have something I'm excited about. I checked out from the library. Library. <laughs> uh, Christmas Cocoa Murder by Carleen O'Connor, Maddie Day, and Alec Erickson. Alex Erickson. Um, they have a bunch of these books in the series, like All the Holidays, a bunch of cozy mysteries for the holidays, like every holiday you could imagine. And uh, they're on like Kindle uh, for like $2.99 each, whatever. So when I get a Kindle for Christmas, here's to hoping um, I can read all of them because the library only has this one. They don't have audiobooks, so you have to like read it, read it. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to read The Christmas Cocoa Murder. Then I have Jingle Bell Bark, another book I checked out from the library by uh, Lauren Bryn Burn Burninson. Hmm. It's a Melanie Travis mystery, so it's another cozy mystery. Um, hopefully it centers around puppies. Um, but yeah, it's just a cozy mystery, and I it's Christmas themed. I love it, so I definitely want to get to it. Then I have A Holiday Romance, an LGBTQ2IA plus romance, The Holiday Trap by Roan Parrish. Um, I think it's like The Holiday, the movie The Holiday, uh, but LGBTQ, um, but I'm not sure, but it sounded like it in the synopsis. So I bought this. I definitely want to get to reading that. And it's a Christmas book, so I'm excited about that. The next three books I have are Animal Ark by Ben M. Bangalo. Oh, but Lucy Daniels and Lucy Daniels wrote two of them, but one's by Ben M. Bangalo. And it's Spaniel in the Stocking. These are like kid books. They're super easy, like a hundred some pages. Uh, but I love this. I read... Kitten and the Candy Corn for Spooky Season, and I thought it was super cute. So I had to get the Christmas ones. And first we have Spaniel in the Stocking. Then we have Christmas, or no, Kitten Kisses, a Christmas special by Animal Ark. Then we have Hamster in the Holly. I think this one's going to be cute. Uh, another Animal Ark book, so. Then we have a book that was also suggested for fans of A Little Life called Tin Man by uh, Sarah Winman. Now, if you look closely, see the foil? Oh, that's so pretty. So pretty. Um, but this is about a gay man who has cerebral palsy and, like, uh, falls in love or has a relationship or something. Um, I don't know too much about it, but I know that fans of A Little Life uh, are suggested this book, so I definitely want to read this. Then we have a double feature, which hopefully for my birthday I can get uh, some Audible credits and get the audiobooks for these two so I can read them with the audiobook. audiobook. We have It Ends With Us and It Starts With Us by Colleen Hoover. I read my first Colleen Hoover book uh, just this last weekend uh, called Verity and I loved it. So I'm excited to read another Coho book, and I'm going to read It Ends With Us and It Starts With Us. I hear these aren't the best Coho books, but this one's new, so I have to read it. But look at this. This is so annoying. One is taller than the other. Like, publishers, what are you doing? But anyway, yeah, definitely going to get to those. And then my last book, which I might not be able to get to uh, because I checked out... Uh, or I put on hold the audiobook on Libby, and on Libby it said it'll be 10 weeks until I can get the audiobook, so that might actually be in December I get to read this, but I still put it on my November TBR, and it is I'm Glad My Mom Died by Jeanette McCurdy. Now, obviously I could just read read this book, like no problem, uh, but I heard uh, Jeanette McCurdy actually reads the book on the audiobook, and it's like, a transcendental experience. So I definitely want to read along with her voice, um, but I might not be able to get to this till December. So we will see. But yeah, that is my, oh, Dilly. Uh, that is my TBR for November. Um, let me know what's in your TBR down in the comments and uh, let me know if any of my books are in your TBR. I doubt it, but who knows? Um, 
But thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, share, and subscribe if you could, please. And have yourself a merry little Christmas. Peaces! Thank <laughs> you.